Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly get MGO2 up and running on PC. So before I start, I have two very quick disclaimers I need to make. And number one is performance. These settings I'm providing today are just a shell of a performance. There are many, many tweaks you can do to increase the performance uh, within the emulator itself. So please don't be put off initially if the performance isn't great when you first get up and running. And number two, please keep in mind that both projects, console and PC are completely separate with completely different developers, individuals and peoples involved, um, as well as the servers themselves. Um, just two things to keep in mind, that's all. So um, I'm not sure if any of you have seen my old tutorial videos, but I like to quit the bullshit and get on with the instructions right away. Um, so what you're going to need to do is go into the description and download those two WinRAR files. Now, one of them is going to be the actual game files and the other was going to be the emulator for the game, almost like a, a virtual PS3. Go ahead and start the downloads for those. They are Google Drive documents, so they will take a little while to download regardless of how good your internet is. So get them going straight away whilst you consume the rest of the video. Now, there are some prerequisites to do whilst those are downloading. So in the description, there will be two links. One will be to the create account page, which you can see in front of me right now, um, where it'll allow you to create an account. So please input username, password, and email address. And please be careful with the credentials you're putting in here as the game server is hosted by the developers. Um, so I imagine they'll have you know full access to everything. So be careful with the, the credentials you use and make sure they're unique to the game itself. And the second thing is to join the, the Discord. This is the, the community Discord run by the people who created the PC version of the emulated game. Um, and you'll be able to find things here such as uh, help if you have any issues, um, announcements if they ever push an update. Uh, if you're looking for a game, there's a channel where, where someone will announce they're going to host. And, or if you can go ahead and ask if people plan to come online soon. Uh, and just general chat about the game. Everyone's super friendly, a lot more friendly than the console version. So please make sure you join here. Okay, so you've downloaded those two files. All you need to do now is unpack them both. Okay, so once that's done, Go ahead and drag the folder starting with BLJM into the MGO2 unofficial folder. And now we want to launch the emulator and apply the PlayStation firmware. So go ahead into the MGO2 folder, click MGO2 unofficial PC, RSPC3 EMU, and go ahead down to the exe file and launch the emulator itself. You see here we've got an empty games list. So to update the firmware, go to File, Install Firmware, Go back over one and go to ps 3 updatepup and that'll, that'll apply the PlayStation firmware to the emulator. Click OK. Okay, now we've done that, what we want to do is add the game into our game directory. So we can do that by going to File, Add Games, go back over one, single click the BLGM folder and click Select Folder at the bottom right and that'll add the game to the list important points here. You can use any controller you want. Uh, I'm using an Xbox controller um, just because I'm so used to using the Xbox controller now, you know, moving to PC about seven, eight years ago. Uh, but you can go ahead and use a PS3 controller, PS4 controller, PS5 I think now as well, but it's totally up to you. And secondly, if you have an AMD 5000 series CPU, you will need to make an additional change. Otherwise, you'll have some issues with um, sound and stuttering. If you don't have one of those processes, feel free to skip this section of the video. So all we need to do is go and find the, the config folder within the emulator folder. Go to custom configs and edit this file in here. Now there is a, a label in here called use LLMVM CPU. And we need to add a value there of ZNVER2. And save that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game so you can see that's now working. So since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and enter my details now. And remember to put save ID and password for auto logging the next time. And we're in. So all I'm going to do now is log in, jump into a training match. 
so you can see for yourself the games I've been running. So a bloodbath for my character. Let's go. Even neck shot bots. Even neck shot and bots. But anyway, um, that was my tutorial to get MGO2 up and running on PC. Um, so if this did help you, please like the video and please tell all your old MGO2 friends that it is so easy to get on MGO2 again. Anyway, peace out.